Hey, what's up everyone? So jumping right into it, if you noticed, if you try to do save as, it's not here. So weird. All you have is duplicate. But duplicate is kind of weird. You have a new window and the old one is there. Well, all you have to do is go to file, hold down option, and you get save as. Boom. So now I'm going to show you how to password protect your document. So all you have to do is go over here to file and you have an option here for set password. Then all you have to do is type in your password twice and you can also put a password hint. Now as you can see here, Here's the document, and if I try to open it, it asks me for the password. Moving on to exporting your pages document as a PDF or a Word document. So going up here to File and Export To, you have the option to export it as a PDF. You can even keep the password if you want to, but I'm going to check mine off. And it's as simple as this. And just choosing your location, I'm going to probably put it in my downloads folder. That's it. Okay, so basically the same thing for the Word document. You go to File, Export to, and Word. And you can also put a password on there if you want. And you can even save it as an older Word document. Now we are jumping into iCloud. So I'm going to type in a few random things here. But first, let me save my document. So as you can see here, my document says it's going to be in the cloud. It says iCloud there. I'm gonna rename it here. Make sure it saves. And I'm just gonna type in some gibberish. Type in a few things here. Okay, so now I'm gonna save it one last time and I'm gonna head over here to my iPhone. And I just opened the Pages app on my iPhone and guess what? The document's here with all the stuff I just typed in. And I can further edit so I'm going to put something here. I'm going to put, uh, well, you can put a picture, you can put graphs, blocks, but I'm probably just going to type in this works. And I can do the normal stuff. I can select this and hit this paintbrush here and I can change the font and I can change it to bold. And there we go. So now I'm going to switch over here back to my MacBook. And as you see, it updated pretty awesome now another awesome thing is that you can go on iCloud.com log in and now you can even edit on iCloud.com on another machine pretty awesome as you can see here we have like the normal looking interface we can do all kinds of edits and Okay, so let's say you want to revert to an older version of your document. I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add two blocks here. Just for an example, I have a blue one here. And what I'm going to probably put in next is, let's see, um, you know, we can swipe over and get another color. Okay, so I'm going to save this once. And then, you know, I'm going to delete this blue one. And then I'm going to save it again. Command S. Then I'm going to close it up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it back up again. Making sure I put in my password because this is a password protected document. <laughs> and, oh no, I want my blue block. Well, you just have to go here to revert to. And then you can browse all the versions that you've had. 
it'll ask for you to put your password in if you have a password on the document. If you don't, then it won't ask you. And so I will put in the password here again, and we can look at different versions of the document. Here's the one I need with the blue block. That's pretty awesome. So then I'm just going to hit on revert, and there we go. Simple as that. Thank you guys for watching.